Welcome to the age of digital. That is, the age of digital television. What you're looking at here is a 1953 Munns television. And I have meticulously replaced and restored all the electronics on the inside. Fortunately, when I bought it, the cabinet was already in this good a shape, but this is a 1953 Munz TV, and it now works. You can see here, this is the volume and picture controls and the fine tuning and channel selector over on this side. It's got about a six inch or seven inch speaker on the inside, full range, and your standard run of the mill black and white CRT screen. On top of the TV, I have what has brought this TV into the age of digital television. This is a Zenith DTV box that I purchased at Best Buy. And as you can see, it happens to be a model number DTT901. In a moment, we'll fire her up and you'll get to see how this old TV works with modern technology. First, we're gonna go around the back side and I'll show you how we hook this up. What I have here is a standard pair of rabbit ears and I've ran that into a little adapter and plugged it into the back of the unit. You can see right there, just your standard adapter. Plug that in. No other controls are hooked up here or no other wires, I should say. And then we have the RF output that's plugged out here. And from there, it goes down on the back of the TV. And on the end of that, you'll see, if I can switch on my little light detector here, you'll see that on the back of the TV, it has the standard two screw, whatever you call it, two terminal input on the back for the antenna. Okay. One of the nice things about this digital TV converter is it gives features to this TV that it didn't have the day it was manufactured. For instance, on the remote control, on the remote control here, you'll see we have some controls here that this TV didn't have, one of which is a remote control. But you can see here, here's the volume, mute, channel up and down. And of course, I can turn the, uh, the power off. Now, I can't turn the TV's power off with this remote. But if you'll notice, on the back, connecting to the wall, is a little unit that I bought recently at a Lowe's store. And it's a little on-off control unit that I can control with this remote right here. So what I'm going to do is switch it on, and I can do so by hitting the number one here, on. And you'll notice this nice little red light comes on on the front of the digital TV converter. And I'm going to hit the power button and switch it on. Salt, oil, pepper. Extra virgin olive oil. See, final answer. He knew that one right away. Good going. Fair game for 4000 We're looking at a... In her 2007 book, Fair Game, author Valerie Flame Wilson... We're looking at a uh, digital broadcast of our local ABC affiliate here in the St. Louis area. And that is coming in through these rabbit ears on the top of my TV set. So again, we have converted digital to a very old television set. And unfortunately, I can't pull in that many channels with this particular box. But uh, let's see if I can get channel 2 to come in. Yeah, not so much. Let's see if I can rotate my rabbit ears here. There's our little uh, on-screen indicator telling me I have no signal. Isn't that nice? There we go. Now we got some local news coming through. We'll go ahead and crank up the volume a little bit here. Oh, 
Mayor Avery Ware says he hopes to have an emergency meeting with the Board of Aldermen in a concentrated effort to get gas back into the city's police cars. Time now for a check of the first forecast, and here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Murphy, Dave. And lots of sunshine around town today. Nice looking from the inside out, but cold to be out and about for any length of time. The summer plants certainly looking a little sad right now after the morning freeze. Most of us fell back into the 20s. So look downtown from the afternoon with our time lapse. Not a cloud in the sky, sunshine and a deep, clean blue sky out there. It's a nice fall color starting to show up down on the arch grounds. With the clear skies, the light winds and the dry air, we're going to watch those temperatures tumble once again. 20s and 30s over the bi-state region. In and around the Fox 2 News viewing area, we fall a degree or two below the freezing point by morning. Coldest time will be about 6 a.m. And Game 5 of the World Series has already been called off. Thanks to this giant spin of low pressure over the northeast part of the country. Clouds, rain, even wet snow, and... So there you have it. My 1953 months television that was uh, had all the electronics restored and quite a few of the tubes on the inside replaced at a cost of about $150 worth of parts. But uh, it's kind of cool to just fire it up every once in a while and let this old machine... Uh, that has no moving parts, give us a little taste of the 1950s. Hope you enjoyed the video.